Hey guys, thank you again for tuning in. This is Coach Danny Roberts with OEFC. Today's session is going to be working on a little bit of everything. It will be working on some dribbling, it will be working on some attacking moves, some turning moves, and passing and receiving of the ball. All you need to set up the session, you'll need six cones, a soccer ball, and either a wall or a pot. Okay, so as you just saw there, there are four cones laid out all pretty close to each other for you guys to dribble through. There is one cone around five yards in front and there's another cone five yards further than that. Um, you will dribble in and out the cones before moving up to the first level cone where you're going to perform a fake and take for this first progression. Uh, he's going to move up to the top of the, of the circuit using an inside hook to turn and return back to where he started. He then plays a pass to his partner, receives the ball on the turn before doing the whole thing again. Uh, so you'll do this for around 45 seconds. Again, work rate very, very important as always. Make sure you're working hard throughout. Um, while you're dribbling through the cones, try and use both feet. The move, the fake and take, really sell that move. Again, you want to use that arm fake one way before taking it the opposite way. Inside hook at the top. Uh, make sure your technique there is lots of small touches with the inside of the foot. As you return back to the beginning, weight of the pass is important. Receive the ball on the turn before starting the whole thing again. Okay everyone, so as you just saw there, the progressions for the second one, still dribbling all the way through the cones, but now you are only using your right foot. The move changes at the first cone, you'll be now doing a left foot scissor, right foot take, before quickly shifting the ball to the left side of the last cone to perform an outside hook and return back to where you started to play that pass, turn and start the whole thing again. Uh, your technique very important now for that scissor. Again, you want to make some space between your right foot and the ball. Your left foot then goes through that space and around before taking it with your outside of your right. Uh, your turn and move at the top, lots of small touches or one big touch. Uh, work hard throughout and make sure your level of consistency as always remains the whole way through.
Okay, everyone. So the last progression there is going to be for players who want to test themselves or, or more experienced players. The reason I say that is because it's probably the most difficult out of all the ones you've done here. Uh, you'll see the dribbling in and out the cones is now only with the player's left foot. Their attacking move is going to be a Revelino before they progress to the final cone where they'll perform a Cruyff turn. Uh, again, both of those moves, two of the tougher moves. So if you are slow at the beginning, don't worry too much about it. As you get more comfortable, you can make it a little bit quicker. But for me, the coaching point is really focus on getting the moves and the turns right. Don't worry about the speed at first. The speed will come with it as you get more comfortable. Okay, everyone. So a little bit of a longer one there. As, as you saw, a bit of a longer drill for you guys to try out. Plenty of progressions. You can add your own attacking moves that you might want to work on throughout. But we've worked on fake and take, scissors and revelino, as well as an inside hook, outside hook and croak turn. You're working on passing and receiving also with your partner. Plenty of different things for you to work on there. It's a very well-rounded drill. If you guys are going to try it out, obviously tag us in it. We want to take a look at these things. Make sure you guys are staying safe and thank you very much for tuning in.